So, let's recap. I'm an emo werewolf who can transform at night and uses music to control my werewolf form while terrorizing local gun-toting jerks. What I don't do is fight monsters. That's what superheroes do. I'm just a kid on the res out in the middle of the desert. But I can't let them get away with that truck full of kidnapped kids. No matter what. First I gotta choose some bubble gum and kick some ass. And like Rowdy Roddy Piper says, I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Man, he's out of bubble gum too. And he's as strong as he looks. Head up, Jake. Nothing like the system of a down when you're on the ground. No! I feel something begin to take over me. That beast within. The thing that none of Molly's playlists have any effect on. And it scares me. My vision begins to blur. My veins seethe with something primal I've never felt before. They must see it too. Because now, it's three against one. And I'm not gonna lie. That hurts. I wish Molly had chased the truck to figure out where it's going. But I thank the creator for a friend who sticks by me. But I can feel myself slipping. I don't just want to hurt them. I want to kill them. But even with all that rage, I still fall. Huh? Who are? Where am I? Looks like Mr. Null's tech took some damage. His neural units dislodged. Time for repairs. Arrgh. Jake? We have to find him now! I understand that you want to get back out there, Molly. But it's too dangerous. The roads are washed out. Yes. It's a blessing you made it back. I promise. Jake will be fine. These U.S. Marshals have offered to help. We will find Jake, Molly. As soon as the rain stops, Officers Red Wolf, JJ, and I will head to the ravine and get to the bottom of this. We believe what you saw. We have been tracking nature's anomalies all over the southwest. I, too, often have trouble trusting my own eyes. All we can do now is get some rest, wait out the rain, and have faith that the freaks don't come back out at night. I've lost a lot of blood. My wounds will heal since they didn't hit me with silver. But I'm fading in and out of consciousness. Gotta find some place to hide. This is the first time I've gotten hurt like this. And I'm not gonna lie. It really sucks. Transforming doesn't make it better. Every part of me is on fire. But that's not nearly as disconcerting as the floaty shape in front of me. It's me. Ten years ago. A seven-year-old boy about to find out his family's dark secret. All I wanted was to fit in. But I felt different. And it 
wasn't because of my native and Mexican roots. I felt there was something inside waiting to get out. I walked in on my dad at work once. When I saw him wailing on that guy, that thing inside wanted to run in and join him, but I was afraid. After that, I stayed away from him. Then he got locked up, and mom got real sick. I watched my mom die, again. The images grow. My mind is connected to the smallest atom, but also to the largest galaxy. The universe is both infinite and finite. A moment is eternity. I see the blood that made my dad and our ancestors. The violence that built us. But I also see the celebration and the dance. The love and passion of our people. Of all people. It is the soundtrack to this great mystery. I can feel that same something inside again. Calling out. Telling me that my dad and I are connected. Not only to each other, but also to the whole. Our past built our present. But now we must choose our future. My dad and I are wolves that chose different diets. But it doesn't mean we can't change, for better or for worse. All that rain really did a number on these roads. They can be tricky on a good day, but... Ah, hell. End of the line for me. You both take the buggy. I'll head back. Thank you, Officer Schilling. Scolding. See you back at the station. We'll call if we need anything. Thanks. Travel well, my friend. Rain pretty much took care of any visible evidence. The eye is only one of the many senses. Lucky this military grade gear has all those senses, plus more. I'm definitely getting some serious pains here. Mixed biomaterials, mostly organic, but some that look man made. Anything looping? You mean Wolfie? Yeah, I'm seeing fur follicles and a lot of blood. This was one hell of a fight. I hope the young man escaped like Molly described. There is an echo here of a great pain, but a pain that came before this fight. I fear that my stolen brothers and sisters may be more connected to these creatures than we think. Dr. Makowski, the new security team has been sent out with express orders to capture this creature. They are scouring the desert as we speak. He's got in Boulder, Hadley. Shown more than his face. This is good. Find him, no matter the cost. Though I'm finally awake, the fever dream images are still stuck in my head. My wounds are healed, but I still feel like the ultimate warrior suplexed me onto a barbed wire table during a ladder match. I had been getting more confident becoming the werewolf. The other night when we scared those jerks was really the first time I showed my full werewolf self. 
Always been a lot of howling and running around in the shadows. But Molly has been pushing me to use my powers. To fight back against the real monsters. Getting my butt kicked for her last night made me realize something. I think I'm catching feelings for Molly. I can't believe I slept nearly all day. Gotta make it to the res before sunset. Otherwise I might turn and have no way to control myself. I guess my little werewolf in tights show didn't go unnoticed. Glad we're getting another shot at that freak. Shoot a bag to him last night. Hi, O Niles. Exploded him with your 7.62 hollow points. He was a friggin' werewolf. These jerks again. You got eyes on anything out there, boys? Only in Oswald. You wanna jump back here, Russ? He would still miss it on the minigun. This is shaping up to be quite the summer vacation. Hopefully I can survive and get to senior year. Hey, kid! Now what? They have a ground team too? Stop. Really? What planet is this Merc from? The sun's setting, and I don't have my ear pods or Molly's playlists. I can feel my heart pumping in my throat. Fear and rage mixing like gas and fire. A deadly, combustible combo. I feel the hunger. Damn it! We're too late! Let's hope your gadgets are werewolf ready. We're about to find out. A small voice says don't kill them. Jake, we know you're in there. We mean no harm. But a bigger voice says to give them what they deserve. The hunger must be satisfied. The world goes red. And all I can hear is a horrible buzzing in my ears. The music is gone.